Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a glow in the dark peekaboo tumbler. Super excited about this. Um, this was an idea I had and I just could not wait to try it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys love this as much as I did. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I bought this SVG off of Etsy. It'll be linked below in the description. And what I needed to do was basically make a template that I can wrap around my tumbler where everything was already cut out of it. So I started by making the shapes that I'm go I was going to need to use as um, splicing. So for example, the first one was the circle, it was the easiest one, and I just made it the same measurements as I did um, the full moon. Then I went ahead and duplicated that circle so it was the same size, and I took the skinny um, crescent moon and started to play around with another circle and until I had a space left to where I could splice it and then the crescent would be what was left. Um, when I did this originally, I didn't start with a crescent moon and I highly recommend doing that before you do the other ones because the leftover shape that I have sitting there from the crescent moon can also be used for this one, which is the most difficult one out of the out of them all. So I lined it up and then I just, again, I had it unlocked and just moved the shape around until it fit the moon perfectly and then once I was done doing that I went ahead and then took a duplicated the circle again I took a square and um lined it up to the center I had to end up taking the half moon and putting it up there so that I could see exactly where the center was and then I spliced the square in the circle to leave me with the moon that was left after I was done doing this, I lined everything up and um, then I took the three moons to the right of the full moon. I duplicated and then horizontally flipped it so that I didn't have to do all that over again. It's all already there. So once I was done with that, I aligned it all to the top and then I got a square and I made the measurements, the measurements of a 30 ounce skinny from Griffin Blanks. So that is 9.5 in height and then 9 point, I think 8.2, yeah, 9.82 inches in width. Now I will tell you that there was a gap because this wrap went over a glittered tumbler. And um, so if you don't want a gap, I would wait to do this after you've glittered your tumbler so that you could remeasure um, the circumference of the tumbler, um, basically the width around it. Um, but once you have your uh, height and your length, you are going to take the full moon set, moon face set, and you are going to weld them together and then put them in the middle of the square that you made. Then you're going to splice it and then you're going to delete everything else. Then you're going to, I use the, sh the star shape um, that was already free in Cricut. I just rearranged some stars around, put it onto the square, moved them around so that they were pretty even. And then I hid the square, welded the stars, duplicated the stars, and then added them to the other side, made sure that they fit appropriately. Uh, and then once I did that, I made the square disappear again. I welded all the stars again, and then I highlighted everything and spliced it. Since you can only splice two things at once, um, I had to weld everything. Now I'm just going to briefly show you how everything fits in there. I had to turn off my smart grid because it wasn't letting me line it up, but then your moons will fit in there. Now the black moons are going to be cut out with a black Oracle 631 vinyl and then the template is going to be cut out on a pattern vinyl. Now honestly I have never made a glow-in-the-dark tumbler before so you guys are learning along with me. So actually that's a lie I have because I've used this glitter before but I have never used the Art and Glow um, glow powder and so I was excited to use that. I had gotten it last Halloween 
Um, and I just never ended up using it and thought this would be a perfect time. So I mixed together uh, 30 milliliters total of CCDIY's Ultra Clear Fast Set Epoxy. And then I just kind of dumped a bunch of the Art and Glow in there. I didn't really follow the directions. I just put a bunch and then mixed it until there was it was thoroughly mixed. I then added some of the teal luminous glitter from Backfist Customs. And then after I did that, I was like, let me go ahead and just add the other colors I also have of the luminous glitter from Backfist Customs. So I added the pink and I also added the blue. And um, I don't know if those made a huge difference because um, by themselves, they've worked very well before. Um, so... I don't know, unless I tried it without the glow powder, I'm not sure how well it would work. I did get these luminous glitters in a subscription pack and I do have a discount code and link below for Backfist Customs. I did still, of course, want a little bit of sparkle in my tumbler, so I added a big old scoop of the oxygen glitter, which is like a, I don't wanna say holographic, but it's like an opal. And then I forgot to actually film myself putting on the glitter. So I just spread it on a 30 ounce tumbler by Griffin Blanks. It was already prepped with a white base. And then you see me using a black light here, the or UV light. The reason why I'm doing this is because the video cannot capture the glow in the dark as it can in person. So I had to use the UV light so you guys could really see the glow. Um, then I went ahead and cut everything from the Cricut design that we had done before and I weeded everything. Um, depending on how you want to do it, uh, it might be easier to weed everything after you've already put it on the tumbler. Could be wrong, um, but I did feel like I made this a lot more difficult on myself than it needed to be, which is typical for me. Um, I don't realize the easy aspect of things until after I've already done it. So then I cut down the sheet. Um, with my little slicer thing I got off of Amazon. I love this thing. And um, cut it down to match the edges so that there was no edges and I could wrap it around the tumbler and um, see how it lines up. And uh, you guys have seen me wrap tumblers before. I'm not the best at it. Um, Dixie Darlins, in my opinion, uh, she's the queen at wrapping tumblers. So I highly suggest you go watch and follow her um, videos with tumbler wraps. But I wrapped it around, I tapped it against the table to make sure everything was even, and then I went ahead and took some painter's tape and taped it to the tumbler so that it could stay still. I peeled back about an inch of the vinyl and cut off the, um, which we call it the backing paper so that uh, I could have a good starting point. Now, I will also say it is not a good idea to keep the painter's tape there when you do stick the vinyl down because then you're gonna end up getting bubbles and creases like you're about to see me do. Also, I saw this um, rolling the tumbler onto the vinyl, game changer. I can't remember who I saw it from. It was on TikTok, but game changer for sure. Instead of doing it in your hand, you just roll the tumbler on. Now this obviously would only work for non-taper tumblers because if it was a tapered tumbler, it's not gonna work that well. Um, but then I used my squeegee and my hands to then wrap the entire tumbler. And as you can see, there was a space there, and that's because I used the measurements of a tumbler without the glitter and epoxy. I also recommend adding a second layer of epoxy over top of that glitter um, so that it is completely smooth before you add in, add on the pattern vinyl. Pro tip, if you take a sharp utensil like a um, cutting knife or a pin pin, you can pop the bubbles and then smooth them out with your fingers. So um, that helps significantly. I then went ahead and added my moons over top of the blank spaces. So um, the process I showed you in the beginning of the video uh, was not the same process I used to make these cutouts. Um, as I was refilming that, I realized an easier way. So these are a little off-centered or a little bit larger or smaller than what the actual moons are. Um, so just a heads up. I then trimmed off a top piece of the vinyl. Um, I just did this with an X-Acto knife, uh, sharp, fresh blade. Um, and I wasn't too worried about the gap. So how cool is this? 
Um, this is the tumbler so far. Now, because the bottom isn't covered and there's a top space at the rim, I wanted to cover that up. So before I did that, I went ahead and epoxied the entire tumbler with 30 milliliters of CCDIY's fast set epoxy. Once that was complete, um, it was time to fill in that gap in the back, the gap at the top, and the open space at the bottom. So in order to do that, what I did was I took alcohol ink. I took a purple and a black alcohol ink, and I'm pretty sure I also used a like a dark blue ink. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Um, but I just went ahead and dabbed it, and I basically played with that until it was covered. It was a little bit difficult um, to do uh, to get the coverage at first, but once I got it going, um, and just kind of added layers upon layers of alcohol ink, I was able to cover up that crease and kind of blend in the um, bottom, the top, and the crease in the back. Now again, you're just going to want to repetitively, repetitively, repetitively do this. Um, I did learn that the Bria Reese black alcohol ink ink worked a heck of a lot better than the pinata ink that I was using um, Bria Reese was more opaque. Yep, there's the blue I was using. So I added a little blue, and um, I thought that this didn't blend very well, so I was gonna leave it as is, but then I ended up adding decals on top of it. So I made a image in Canva, and I'm going to link that below as a little freebie S uh, SVG for you guys. Um, so it's the like the moon, we must go through phases. And I did an offset through Cricut Design Space. The stars that are shown below, that was a freebie in a video that was posted a few videos back. The one with the planets in it. So if you go back there, you can find the freebie for that one. Um, but this one will be linked in the bio. So I also did not line this up very well um, because I didn't want to have my head over the camera, but hey. Um, but anywho, so I did sand the tumbler prior to applying this vinyl. I used hollow chrome in space gray and in silver from TechWrap. They're one of my favorite holographic um, vinyl places to shop at. And I just randomly placed some holographic stars throughout. Uh, I thought that would be a little fun add-on. And then once I was done placing everything on my tumbler where I wanted it to go, I added on one more layer of 30 milliliters of CCDIY's Ultra Clear Fast Set Epoxy. And then I will finish this cup off with probably 20 milliliters of CCDIY's Artist Resin just to give it a final shine and protective coat. So this is the final result um, still on the turner. Um, you can see the final pictures on my Instagram linked below, but I think this turned out really cool. I feel like Peekaboo Glow in the Dark has so many possibilities and I cannot wait to see what you guys create. So thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.